In this video, I'm going to talk you through how you can customize your WordPress dashboard. And the dashboard area of your WordPress blog can be quite complicated. And there are some things that you may want to show and other things that you don't use that you might not want to show. And also you might find the default layout a bit confusing. But you can customize it all to meet your own requirements. The way to do it is actually quite simple come here to where it says screen options and click on the little arrow it opens up this area and you can see what's being shown on your dashboard at the moment you've got right now which is this content area here you've got the recent comments links plugins site stats and so on and if there's anything that you want to hide all you do is uncheck the little checkbox here for example I don't really want to see what's in the WordPress blog so I can uncheck that and I don't really want other WordPress news so I can uncheck that and you can see here that's now gone from where it was earlier on you can also change the number of columns now for instance let's say I'm using this particular screen resolution all the time and it's quite small so let's say I just want to have one column all I do is click there and you'll notice all these changes happen in real time you don't need to save or do a screen refresh to see it and now you can see we've got everything all in one column the other thing is you can change the arrangement let's say I want to go back to two columns I just select that radio button and then all I've got to do is drag and drop what I want from one place to another so it's simply come over the area hold your mouse over it the cursor changes to this cross with arrows on the end hold down the left mouse button if you're using a PC and then drag it across to where you want it so you can put it there and we can see recent comments is now in this column and I can click there to display them and there we go and you can do all that and then when it's the way you want it simply click here to close that window something else that you can do is to configure what each panel is going to look like so for example in recent comments if I click on the configure tab here I can define what number of comments I want to show it's showing five let's say I want to show four what I've got to do is put in the new number and click on submit and that's changed now and others also have a way of configuring not all of them do but you can see incoming links you can configure that one as well so you can say how many links you want there's a pop-up window here so let's say I want to have 12 links and if I want to display the item date I can click on that and click on submit like that and there we go that's all done as well now you can get plugins that will do this for you uh, I'll show you a couple here the WP hide dashboard plugin and the clean WP dashboard plugin as well and you can find those in the plugin directory in wordpress.org in this video I'm going to talk you through how you can customize your WordPress dashboard and the dashboard area of your WordPress blog can be quite complicated and there are some things that you may want to show and other things that you don't use that you might not want to show and also you might find the default layout a bit confusing but you can customize it all to meet your own requirements the way to do it is actually quite simple come here to where it says screen options and click on the little arrow it opens up this area and you can see what's being shown on your dashboard at the moment you've got right now which is this content area here you've got the recent comments links plugins site stats and so on and if there's anything that you want to hide all you do is uncheck the little checkbox here for example I don't really want to see what's in the WordPress blog 
so I can uncheck that. I don't really want other WordPress new, so I can uncheck that. And you can see here that's now gone from where it was earlier on. You can also change the number of columns. Now, for instance, let's say I'm using this particular screen resolution all the time and it's quite small. So let's say I just want to have one column. All I do is click there. And you'll notice all these changes happen in real time. You don't need to save or do a screen refresh to see it. And now you can see we've got everything all in one column. The other thing is you can change the arrangement. Let's say I want to go back to two columns. I just select that radio button. And then all I've got to do is drag and drop what I want from one place to another. So it's simply come over the area, hold your mouse over it. The cursor changes to this cross with arrows on the end. Hold down the left mouse button if you're using a PC. And then drag it across to where you want it. So you can put it there and we can see recent comments is now in this column and I can click there to display them and there we go and you can do all that and then when it's the way you want it simply click here to close that window. Something else that you can do is to configure what each panel is going to look like. So for example in recent comments if I click on the configure tab here I can define what number of comments I want to show. It's showing five. Let's say I want to show four. What I've got to do is put in the new number and click on submit. And that's changed now. And others also have a way of configuring not all of them do, but you can see incoming links. You can configure that one as well. So you can say how many links you want. There's a pop-up window here. So let's say I want to have 12 links. And if I want to display the item date, I can click on that and click on Submit. Like that. And there we go. That's all done as well. Now you can get plugins that will do this for you. Uh, I'll show you a couple here. The WP Hide Dashboard plugin and the Clean WP Dashboard plugin as well. And you can find those in the plugin directory in WordPress.org.